At Highland Hill Farm, we recently received an offer from a solar company to lease ground that we own. We own a parcel in Pennsylvania that's over a thousand acres, most of which is zoned heavy industrial, located along a railroad line that's usable, located in an area where there's a lot of industry coming in, and also located along a major road, and there are heavy-duty power lines that could be connected for the solar farm. So the solar company sent us a proposed lease, and I put it in here for you to look at so that you can see how the leases are, are designed and the, the way that the solar company ties up your property. In this particular case, the solar company wanted to tie it up for a due diligence period of up to five years, which means for five years you have to wait and see if they get their approvals. And if you, they do, then they will continue with the project. In the meantime, they give you a small amount of money to tie up the property. Initially, in this case, it was $5,000 to start, and then $10,000 for a couple of years thereafter. But if you read carefully on this lease, you'll see that it's full of pitfalls on what they're asking for and what they'll give you. The rent that they offered was way, way low compared to what other rents in the state are going for. Not only that, they want to put an escalator in of 1%, which is ridiculous because if inflation's at 3%, it means that the rent actually goes down in real dollars by 2% a year. And then, on top of it, they want a lease that lasts 40.5 years, which means they tie up the property for 45.5 years. Now, other parts of the lease don't specifically say what happens to, to the site. In other words, it doesn't say exactly where on the site they want to place these uh, solar panels. They could pick a location that ruins the, the access to the property for any other use or a configuration that makes it difficult to use the rest of the property. They wanted to put, in this case, a 150 megawatt plant, which is a big plant, would probably take up 150 acres just of solar panels. So it isn't a small project. It would be a large project. So what I've done here is I've put the terms of the contract in so that you can see it because if you get an offer that looks like this, I would suggest you just put it in the trash. If there's a proposed solar plant being put in near your house, you should plant these trees. These are the green giant arborvitas that we sell at Highland Hill Farm. You can call us at 215-651-8329 to block off a road, an ugly industrial site, or a solar farm.